So we are in Marissa's kitchen and she's got all these wonderful looking ingredients laid out. The good thing, uh, Marissa, is that they're very recognizable ingredients. So I'm sure the food is going to be something that we can cook pretty easily in our own kitchens. Yes. Yeah? Well, you were saying earlier that uh, uh, you don't eat many vegetables. So I went for a completely vegetable loaded tart. And, what a good uh, idea. See. Well, and so let's start you with the main test of it is as tasty and satisfying uh, as... I bet it will be. So is that what we're going to start with? A yes. vegetable loaded tart? Yes. Fantastic. So now I'm going to make a tofu ricotta. Take a 250 grams of the tofu and I first have to break it down. So what does ricotta have that tofu doesn't have? I have not It has so. fat. Okay. <laughs> you mm -hmm. have to reintroduce the fat. So what is this? So I'm using tahini. So we've got tofu and tahini both in, in, in the food processor. Yes. Excellent. So the tofu is giving that texture of ricotta. Mm -hmm. the, Tahini is giving the fat that you find in all cheese. And the other part is cheese, all cheeses have a certain level of sourness to it. So you need to reintroduce the sourness as well. And for that, we're going to put lemon. ready. Mm -hmm. We'll leave this aside. Now we have to make uh, the broccoli pesto. Broccoli pesto. And I'm using broccoli pesto in this because I want it to be, to have more density mm -hmm. than uh, normal pesto. So what I did is I pre-boiled or pre-blanched okay. the broccoli mm -hmm. uh, and then I will, I'm going to make a puree, a puree out of this. So this goes into the blender again? Yes. So it's going to be broccoli, um, pine nuts or sunflower seeds, Okay. olive oil, salt and pepper. We have the next uh, filling ingredient mm -hmm. is to make a, a aubergine polpettini, meaning little balls. Oh, aubergine polpettini. Yes. That sounds really nice. So the banger. I had this in the oven. So you had you took a full brinjal. Yes. Okay, and you've just put it into the oven. Yes. For how long? Until it becomes charred like this. to put the brinjal into the blender. I made a sautéed onion, which I'll also put, and some uh, sautéed uh, garlic, and uh, parsley. And parsley. And uh, I will mix this with breadcrumbs. Okay. Enough breadcrumbs to make it mold. You don't have to bind it. So we are, here we are, soya oil this time. So you take the eggplant ball, the aubergine balls, uh -huh. and coat them in uh, the breadcrumbs. We just want to brown the outside. It was all cooked. Yes. We've got this tort happening and it's, for me, it's very interesting because you've got tomato, 
then you've got the tofu, then you've got uh, broccoli, and then you've got aubergine. Heavily loaded with vegetables in different, different forms and different, different textures and different, different tastes, all coming together as one on this tort. More ingredients, which mm -hmm. I'd like to show, which we're going to use. Uh, and that's a capsicum. with the broccoli pesto. You can make them, and you can make them ahead of time, and not worry about yes. it. Like I could assemble this; I could have done this yesterday, yesterday and, and made it, it today, yeah. and and put it in the oven today. This is literally like three meals in one, eh? It's like three, yes. I mean, yeah. this, this is. It's got a lot of thing, good things in there. What and and what I would, the way if I make a baked dish, mm. it's a baked dish and a salad because this has everything in there. It has. Sure your sources of uh, protein, it has your fats, it has your vegetables, it has your carbohydrate. So this is the meal. This will have to cook for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Yes. Uh, because I par uh, cooked the potato, maybe 20, 30, but if you are making it the with uh, raw potato. Yes, 30 to 40 minutes. When it, when you see it bubbling on top, it is ready. Okay, so 30 to 40 minutes, uh, our big, big dish is going to happen in there. And in the meanwhile, I think we should start on to what we're going to do next.